Hi, my name's Cody, and you're watching Lunch Ride. You know, when I first started mountain biking, I didn't know anyone else who rode. My wife didn't ride, my friends didn't ride. It was just me on the trails for a number of years. And I was fine with that. Wave to mine, too. <laughs> Hi, Dad. See you guys. This is going to be awesome coming down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I shied away from meeting other mountain bikers because I was kind of intimidated by the people that I perceived to be better riders than I was. And I was also intimidated by the people that seemed very competitive. I just didn't want to mess with any of that. But looking back on that now, I'll tell you honestly that I didn't know what I was missing. As soon as I started making friends with other riders on the trail, mountain biking became one of the most rewarding things I've ever been a part of. I found many like-minded people that were in it for the same reasons that I was. Today, I still love long rides all by myself, but I also love making new friends on the trail. And one of my newest friends is Juliana, AKA Sprocket Girl. Look how beautiful this is. A Sprocket Girl in the lead. Graham, Travis, and Joel. And myself huffing and puffing. See, that was the most climbing I've done in one shot ever. It was beautiful and fun. I'd say I'm not yet acclimated, but these guys are also just monsters. This is their, their after work ride. On my home trails, I'm lucky to get like 500 feet of climbing in on a two hour ride. And I think we just did 1,500 feet of climbing in one shot. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a lie to say one shot. I took like 50 breaks. This is amazing. This is awesome. Just, I think part of it is also just riding in an area that you're not covered by trees, you know? Yeah. Like you're, you're in the wide open and you just have views. That was good. I like, it's not just a tree. Head. And it looks like, you know, we're on the plains, but man, it's cliffs all the way around us. Yeah. It's really fun to actually like ride this with someone else and like see it through their eyes. Yeah. It's, it's fun to like, you guys are like, oh, this is awesome. I mean, I love this ride, but I never take the time to look at one. So it's really great. Right. You've heard me talk about her before. I'm a fan of her YouTube channel, and she lives very close to where I grew up. Her videos would actually make me a little homesick. So when I told her that I was coming home to Colorado for a visit, she offered to show me around one of her home trails, and I'm so happy she did. That is amazing, that is fun. I'm gonna come back and get it. Oh, good thing I lost my wallet right here. <laughs> I lost my wallet right at the top of that. You're kidding me. No, I, I had to turn around and go up to clean it, and my wallet was laying right in the Yeah, if we had if I had cleared that. <laughs> Her and her friends, Graham and Joel, are so welcoming and kind. Also, as it turns out, Travis was in Denver at the same time, so he was able to meet up with us and ride as well. To me, this was an epic ride. I loved it. It was such a beautiful evening, and a ride with new friends is always awesome.
Oh, look at that. So check out Sprocket Girl's channel, subscribe to it, and tell her that I sent you. There'll be a link in the description below. And on her channel, you can see our ride from her side of the camera. My name's Cody, and you're watching Lunch Ride. If you liked the video, if you thought it was helpful, hit like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Until next time.